What is up YouTube? Welcome to Musty Eddie's Tactical HQ. This is going to be an update of my Bushmaster M4A3. This is going to be a before and after video, so this is what it looks like before. Um, after weeks of waiting, I finally got my Yankee Hill Free Float Quad Rail in the Spectre length. Uh, I also went and got a Yankee Hill Low Profile Gas Block to get rid of the uh, A2 front sight. And because I'm losing that, I bought the Magpul backup sight for the front. I also got an end cap for the quad rail. And more Magpul XTM rail covers because I'm going to have a lot more rail space to cover up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to my local gunsmith. I'll be back in about two seconds to show you guys the end product. Alright guys, after a couple hours of waiting and 20 bucks in labor, here it is. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you guys a front to back view of this thing starting with the end cap. A little up close view of the quad rail as well. The rest of the rifle. Alright, as you guys can see the uh, Yankee Hill quad rail helped to eliminate that front A2 sight which uh, gives me a nice open picture when I look through my EOTech. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and reference one of my previous videos where you can see the front side is intruding on my uh, side picture just a little bit. But now with it gone, let's see if I can get it in here. Uh, but now with it gone, it, I have nothing obstructing my view when looking through my EOTech. It just makes using it that much more enjoyable without something in the way. I would definitely recommend an extended quad rail to anyone out there who has a holographic. It's just awesome not having that thing in the way. While we're talking about holographics guys, I'm going to be selling one of my EOTechs. I do have an EOTech 512 in my other Bushmaster, uh, decorated in the OD green. I will try to do a review on that soon. Um, I figure why I have two of the same holographic, I might as well sell one, try to get an aim point, see how it works, and maybe do a little comparison, let you guys know which one I think is better. Uh, but I'm going to go back and uh, show you the bare quad rail to talk a little bit more specifically about it. Alright guys, so I went ahead and flashed back here to show you the uh, Yankee Hill Free Float Rail without the XTM rail covers. Um, this is their diamond series in the Spectre length. As you can see, they cut out these diamond shapes to help cut out on weight. Uh, this is actually one of their lighter quad rails. It weighs in at 15.8 ounces, and their normal quad rail is about 18.2. So you save a little over 2 ounces. Uh, they may not seem like a lot, but ounces do add up really quick, guys, especially with all these mods. So if you have a chance to uh, save some weight, I highly recommend you do so. Um, if you're curious how it uh, stacks up against my previous one, uh, the last one wasn't a free float rail to begin with. Uh, it measured 6.7 inches long and weighed 11.3 ounces. So this one's a little bit longer at 9.675 inches long and a little heavier but well worth it when you consider the benefits I'm going to get with it. It'll definitely help increase accuracy with the uh, the quad rail not attached to the barrel itself. Oh, and I thought I would show you guys uh, the Yankee Hill low profile gas block in there attached to the gas tube and then also the continuous rail that it offers me once it's attached to my upper Well, I think that about does it, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than willing to answer. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.